Well, this is part two of the strawberry needle case. Last time we were gluing the needle punch pieces. And I've cut them out along the back, really close to the edge, not getting into any of the loops. I put one needle case together, add a little spot to put the scissors, pages for needles and pins. Put a tag on the inside back cover, it says Prairie, Prairie Moon Primitives. And then applicate a strawberry on back. And added a little bit of wool yarn around the edge to cover any raw edges from my needle punch on my wool. Show you how I put one together. Some of the supplies I used was wool for the background. And how much I determined I needed was three times the width of this piece plus an inch and a quarter. I used two pieces of chipboard or you can use a cereal box. You'll want to cut out two of them a little smaller than your needle punch piece. You'll need some wool for your pages. We're going to be hand sewing this project together so you'll need a needle and thread. You want a place for your scissors to go. I used two pieces of wool cut out, same size, and looks like the tongues on a penny rug. And on the back, I applied the strawberry. You can do that or you can leave it off. And you'll need some yarn to go around the outside edge. Show you one of the pieces that I've started. I sewed, hand sewed, this needle punch piece all the way around three edges, slipped in a chipboard to give it a little bit of stability. And after I got that done, you want to take, I'll show you on this one, it's already sewed all the way down this edge. You want to take and flip it over. And then I sewed right here along this edge where that inch and a quarter was, I folded it over, slipped in another chipboard, and then I took and I folded that in, and I sewed, starting up here at the top, here, down, and around, stopping right there. Then you'll take your wool pages, and you'll want to have them cut just a little bit smaller than your needle case book, You'll find the center, and then you'll sew right down the center of that using a running stitch. And I, I sewed down and went back up to give it a little bit of stability in that part, too. And if your pages are too long, you can just clip off this little bit of edge here. Then I blanket stitched the piece that will hold in my scissors. I started here, worked all the way around, stopped here, did not sew it into the needle case, left that for an opening, but I did blanket stitch across that. So we have that added in, our pages, put in a little label, then I flipped it back here, and I just primitive stitched down my strawberry. Once I had all that done, took my yarn, laid it down, worked it across there, just whip stitched it all the way across, all the way around, my completed piece, and then I came back with it and went all the way down this raw piece right here just to cover up any raw edge on my needle punch. And that's it. Got a needle case book ready to give as a gift or just to enjoy for yourself.